guys, welcome back for a Funky Food Friday on Big John TV. I'm in the kitchen, so you know that means I'm making something. I'm gonna bring you guys along while I try to recreate these edible worms that I saw Emmy made do on her channel. They looked amazing. I'm really hoping I can recreate them and kind of freak the kids out. Overall, the recipe seems pretty simple. If you can make jello, you should be able to make these. Let's give it a try. So in the store they have strawberry, cherry, and raspberry as far as red jellos go. I think that the most middle ground of these is probably strawberry. So that's what I'm gonna go with. This is a six ounce container of strawberry gelatin. Next you'll need four envelopes of original unflavored gelatin. Give them a stir to combine all that unflavored gelatin with your strawberry or whatever flavor you choose gelatin. Maybe someday I will make the other shades of red gelatin and see if there's a difference in the color that our worms become. To our jello mixture, we're gonna add four cups of water. It's important that this is really boiling hot water. We've got a lot of gelatin in there that needs to dissolve. Stir this around until there's no jello left, no dry gelatin left at the bottom. It smells good. All right, at this stage, we can add a couple drops of green food coloring. Let's see, I went with three. This is a leaf green. This is similar to the Wilton cake colors. All right. And we're gonna set this aside and allow it to cool to room temperature. We don't wanna allow it to go past that and start to solidify, but we've got one more ingredient to add to this and it can't go in hot. While our jello's cooling, we're gonna work on our straws. I have got about 200 bendy straws here. These are the kind with the fun bendy necks and we wanna stretch every single one out. I've got two tall cups that almost come up to the edge of the straw just a little bit hanging over. Let's start stretching them out. All right, that looks to be as many as I can fit in there. Those are packed tight, but we're not squishing the bottoms. We want them to stay round down there. Let's move on to the next step. Next, we'll make a bit of dirt for our worms. We're gonna put about eight Oreos in a blender. Add a couple of graham crackers. And crush them up. That looks perfect. I like the little bit of difference in there between the Oreos and the graham crackers. It looks just like real soil. Our mixture has come to room temperature. Now we're gonna add in one cup of whipping cream. Not whipped cream, we want the liquid. And give it a stir. This will give you an opportunity too to see what color you've really got here. And mine's like kind of a beigey pink. I think that color's perfect. It's almost brown, but there still are tones of red in there. Love it. All right, I'm gonna try not to make a mess, but we are going to pour into the straws. I have also taken and rubber band the top of my straws together so that if I spill over the edge, it's going into my cup instead of outside. Here we go. All right, I've only got a little bit left. I'm gonna pour the remainder into here and we'll have some short worms. There we go. These guys are gonna go in the fridge for at least eight hours up to overnight and then we will try and get them out of the straws. Supposedly, that's the fun part. Here we are about eight hours later and look at it. These are set. Now let's try and get them out. 
I have a bucket here of hot water. I'm going to dip these quickly. Let's see if we can get these to slide out. All right. Now I'm going to try and run my knife around the outside edge. Oh, yeah. I can see this separating now. Haha, -ha, there we go. Oh, these even sound like worms. Oh, that's gross. And then you pinch Ooh, and slide them out. Oh, my goodness. Oh, gross. That looks like meat. Oh, there we go. I dipped this one in a little bit of water and it made it much smoother coming out. Dipped quickly in water. Not dipped in our warm water. So I will continue dipping these in water and squeezing them out. Finally gotten into a rhythm. Get some in both hands, dip them in the water, set them on a towel to dry off a bit. I did find that holding them with pliers helped because they were getting so slippery. But now this helps grab them, slide that worm right on out. I did find if I hold them too long in the water, the worms can slip right out of the straws and I lose them. Oh my gosh, I'm almost done. This part was so tedious, but would I do it again? Maybe. These worms look fantastic. Uh, definitely one of the messiest, one of the messiest things I've ever done. I've had to stop and clean my hands a couple times just because they're so sticky from the jello. Gross. All right, let's clean this up present them on a beautiful plate with the mud and see what the kids think of them. Oh, look at that. That looks so realistic. I'm going to take some of these and dump them in the dirt. Oh, they, they land and look so realistic. This is nuts. Oh my gosh. If I didn't know these were fake, I might think they were real. Oh, I hope the kids freak. Oh, gross. That one tried to escape. I'm kind of liking that there's long ones and there's short ones. Oh, and they stretch. Oh, these kill me. So what do you guys think? Pretty realistic? <laughs> Let's give them a taste. Freeze. Where's Jamie? I don't know. Here he is. All right, come in closer. I made you guys a delicious treat. <laughs> Stand up tall. <laughs> do you want to eat some? You know what? They can't even see you. Scoot back, Jamie. Would you like to eat one? Why not? I know that's oil. Because I saw you making it. You did see me making the dirt. But mm, what about these? Yummy. Stand right here, Jane. Come here. I don't want to try it. 
we're good. Why don't you want to try, Jamie? You don't want to eat a little worm? <laughs> I'm not a bull. They're actually really, really good. <laughs> really, really good. I dropped one. They taste like strawberries and cream. Yeah. I think Jamie's a little bit freaked out. What do you think of them? They're good. I like They're them. like strawberries and cream dipped in chocolate. Mm -hmm. They taste amazing. They look fantastic. I dropped one on the floor. But you guys, how freaking perfect is that? Love them. All right, these were messy. These took a long time, but they're totally worth it. Wouldn't these be great at a Halloween party? Yeah. The kind where you have to like, blindfold and touch things in bowls. I would think these are really worms. These are fantastic. Yup. <laughs> I got another uh, big, uh, taste tester. Now, now, I know what they are, so I'm not really grossed out by them. Fix my hands, excuse me. My beard's a bit wonky too, but but they, they look they those look really good they look so realistic <laughs> the color is fantastic and then you add the dirt and yep. it just makes it so much more realistic <laughs> they stretch ah. and they pull and they feel just like real worms that's amazing but they taste fantastic that's really good this is a total winner that is a great Halloween Funky Food Friday. I love it. They taste good. It's like time to go fishing. Mmm. Good job. <laughs> yep. All right, what do you tell them, Maddie? You can find Big John TV on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Yep, make sure you do all the things. Like, subscribe, share with your friends. Yep. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I certainly did. Even, even if it got very messy. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye. Bye.